Hello friends. In this video lecture series, I shall be discussing on network layer performance. Actually, uh, the previous video uh, video lectures were on the different factors that were responsible for the performance in the network layer. With respect to that, I have taught you about the delay, which were the like different types of delays. And also, we have throughput and packet loss and congestion control. Throughput and packet loss, let me try to discuss in today's video lecture. So, how do you define throughput? In general, we say amount of work done, amount of work done per unit time. So, how much work are you carrying out in that per unit time gives you the throughput. So, when it comes to networking, so here you have to decide what is the throughput in that network. How do you define the throughput? How do you calculate the throughput in the network? And when we say amount of work done per unit time in general, here it is what amount of data that is getting received by the receiver per unit time. So, take one example, one network scenario wherein you have the different routers connected, different networks connected in between the sender and the receiver. Amount of data that is getting received per unit time. Now, this amount of data that is getting transmitted onto the links depends on the transmission rate. So, for every link that we see in this network, the transmission rate may be different. So, in this example, you can see there are three different links here. Let us assume the transmission rate for this link is 200 kbps, for this is 50 kbps. And for this one, let us assume 100 kbps. So, if at all you have to calculate the throughput for this network, throughput will be, throughput is equal to, now in for this particular network scenario, you can see there are three different transmission rates. So, which one will you take in order to calculate the throughput? Normally, we think that, okay, we will take the average of these three and that becomes the throughput for this network but not like that the minimum of these okay becomes the throughput of that so here you have one transmission rate here you have another transmission rate here you so the minimum of what transmission rate one transmission rate two transmission rate three like this if n number you can write down trn the minimum of these transmission rates becomes the throughput of the network so, a simple analogy here, you have a pipe, let me give you the diameter, the starting of that pipe is this much, then the diameter has got reduced, okay, to this from here to here, then further, further it is increased, then you have a very small diameter coming forward then you have a bigger so this way if this is the case you just see let me reduce the diameter for this also little bit you can see so each of these you, if you look here this is the biggest so we say this is the highest transmission rate i'm just giving you an analogy here 200 kbps this is the bigger one here then followed by this then followed by this, this and finally this one. So, the least one that is the smallest one here if you see, this is actually the bottleneck. So, the output will be, the output flow will always be what? Based on this particular diameter only. So, this is how we have to calculate the throughput. Same applies to our network also. Depending on different links which are connected between the sender and the receiver, each of this link is what? It is a medium. So, it can be a wired medium, it can be a wireless medium, fine. And each of this medium may have a different transmission rate. That means the bits that are for flowing in this particular medium may transmit at a different rate. So, depending on that, the minimum whichever is there between the sender and the receiver becomes what? The throughput of the network. This is how you have to calculate the throughput. The other factor that is influencing the network performance is the packet loss. So, packet loss 
will definitely reduces the performance remember if the sender is sending the packet to the receiver okay via this router the router is processing the packets whichever packets it is it has got in its buffer it takes these packets one by one and it will try to process the packet and it will place the packet onto this interface the sender has started sending the packets already the packets are there in the buffer the buffer is full then there is no place for the packet in the buffer the packet gets dropped if the packet gets dropped we say there is a packet loss isn't it so when this there is a packet loss it is going to definitely affect the performance in the network so this way we have to uh, look into the different factors that are affecting the performance of the network layer right from the first factor that is the delay which i have explained in detail in my previous video lecture then followed by throughput and packet loss as per the syllabus you people have to know a bit like not in detail at least the concept of these two then you have to know about the congestion control the fourth factor that is affecting the uh, network layer performance so hope you people have understood this topic thank you take care